a one in three uh, set count right now. You know, getting that getting that two and three right now will be huge in going into the next few weeks. Okay, all right. And uh, I don't, who is it we we're starting off with first? It looks like, Z, is it Z Demon Cake? I believe that is Z Demon Cakes on the yeah. Bowser, as well as potentially Smitty on the Wolf here for Concordia University in Arbor. Okay, well guys, let's start this crew battle on PS2. Uh, already, both already both players just kind of recognizing what they're trying to do, and uh, both players trying to get the tech chase. Oh, oh yes, see that upbeat that you just saw there from Bowser? That is huge. So that comes, that has super armor on it, so you can't really like, you can't really grab out of it or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're stuck on the ground, uh, Bowser can just keep spamming uh, upbeat on the ground and keep you uh, locked for days. Yeah, it's oh, a. And, and, Go on. I was going to say, and also just keep, uh, it actually, it, it racks up more percentage than you think. So it's. Yeah, very good tool. But here we see Z Demon Cake, 166% on him right now. Still not going to die to that back throw. Um, <laughs> very sticky situation with Wolf's uh, forward <laughs> smash there. But Heavy Bowser is going to live very long if uh, Mitty isn't able to take this stock. All right. It meant though, yeah, it was that must have been down thrown, was it? I I actually could not tell you. This is going a mile a minute right now. Uppies to the stage, still not going to kill on the other side. Bowser, oh. Re oh, he recovers though. Oh, kick to the face. <laughs> that dash attack from Wolf, very strong kill option. If it doesn't kill off the side, it'll kill off the top, depending on how you hit it and depending on how you DI. It's kind of a double threat, really. Oh yeah, because it, it can send you either in two directions, uh, mm. oddly enough. Very dangerous tool. Kind of like Ori's uh, dash attack and rivals. Oh my goodness, hello from underneath. <laughs> with, the, with the up smash from underneath that, uh, reaching the platform and killing uh, Smitty with that stock. However though, Zeebie Demon King has only have like, he's got 79% on him. And we saw what Smitty could do to rack up uh, damage quickly, so... Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Well, good Bowser's, use to blaster. Yeah, Bowser's so dangerous in these kind of situations because you you see the you see the percent deficit and you're like, oh, he's losing, he's losing, and then he gets hit with back air and he loses anyway. Haha. -ha. <laughs> uh, very good call out there from Smitty with that back air, catching Z Demon Cake, trying to get something rolling here. Is Aquinas does not want to lose the first player first. Right, right, right. Oh, oh, good use of uh, fire breath there. Uh, that fire breath is very good in uh, terms of uh, like enough for edge guard opportunities, uh, and it, it really does catch uh, most players off guard. Actually, if you don't know how to recover after it, because you can angle it in so many other ways, like say a downward or a left diagonal, and still die from it. Yeah, and if you get stuck in it, even if you're on stage, it does so much damage. There we see racking up the percents um, with that flame breath. Very good tool. Obby's out of shield, gets that free damage here. Z Demon Cake is working his way back into it, but he's off stage right now. He's got to get back on stage. He's able to get back on stage there. Up throw, going to find the up here, but not going to get the KO though. 145 still lives D Demon Cake. And there's a dash tech you said earlier. It said, sends you up in the air sometimes. Oh, but the backer then, is gonna catch him. Yeah, it looks like uh, Z Demon Cakes jumping from ledge one too many times. I believe that was the second or third time that uh, Smitty was able to get that read with that back air and secure a stock for it. Two, uh, four, and one. Very what? interesting win there. Yes. Wait, okay, don't tell me Nectar. <laughs> uh, did Nectar take it all the way? I don't know, but we are getting into this next match. Aquinas versus CUAA. Uh, gonna have a 30 seconds intermission here to just uh, get these stocks reset. Smitty only with one stock left. Uh, it looks like... I don't... I'm not entirely sure who the Dark Pit is. I'll be completely honest. Um, I could look for us real quick, if you'd like. Let's see. Oh. 
I don't. I don't know actually, because there's no uh, there's no dark pit on our list here. Yeah, so uh, kind of a dark horse in dark <laughs> dark pit right now. Um, <laughs> I'm sure Yay! we're gonna. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna get an update <laughs> on there. Uh, I I respect the the Doctor Horrible sing along bug reference. <laughs> there we see. Using the using the uh, arrow, getting lots of damage there. Ooh, almost calls out that uh, jump in with that up smash. Not able to hit it though. Well, both players is already. Uh, I think what I saw there from the center stage. I think they're both trying to do drop down there. <laughs> that first opening. Oh, interesting usage of the uh, that shine there from uh, from Smitty. But it does it does get shielded and does get punished though. Here we see Smitty on stage trying to go for that patented back air there. Off stage, ooh, snipes in with it. Side B to ledge. Ooh, ooh. it breaks the shield orbiters though. I, I'm surprised that didn't wait. That didn't, that didn't do any damage, did it? No, it did not. When they when they break, it takes another hit, I believe, in order for the shield orbiters to for it to actually do damage, or it oh. was uh, or it was a spacing issue or something like that. Oh, I'll probably. Yeah, because I, I was asking because I, I didn't see anything like arc or anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, almost got the bullseye to connect. What? Oh, set up there from Smitty. Yeah, that side B into the up smash, catching the air dodge there from the dark pit. Uh, Aquinas has to uh, has to make this happen, and there we see it. The forward throw going to kill. Uh, Pit and Dark Pit both have that option in their uh, at their disposal. That forward throw at the ledge going to kill fairly early. There we see it. Okay, so um, CUAA looks like they're going with Jay Goody. Definitely a anchor for their team in a lot of situations, but throwing him out right now, probably a matchup that uh, Jay Goody does enjoy, I'm assuming. Um, I know so. I mean, he's entering. I mean, yeah. he's in the battle. He, he at least would have. Hopefully, hopefully he's confident. <laughs> right. <laughs> so both these players waiting out the little 30 seconds intermission, waiting to get into it. We are going to be starting on Battlefield uh, today, and uh, we'll see what happens in this match. Interesting, because uh, honestly, I feel like both these characters both love triplets to get their ladder combo started, or like Absolutely. extended to the top. So uh, <laughs> I don't know where I don't know which where you'd want to focus on more the top or the or the bottom. <laughs> it is going to be a war on all three of these platforms for sure. Getting that side B, but doesn't get the up air off of it. Little bit of chip damage here and there. Up B out of shield Ooh. sends him off stage. Oh, it's stuck there from Jake the Goody. After an opportunity, blaster right into the up B. That is it. Okay, so that paralyzer there, that's like you're stuck in there for, I mean, I don't know exactly how many frames, but it's like, I think Ages. almost two seconds. You're in there, what? you're in there long enough. You are in there long enough for Jay Goody to walk up and up special you. And he's saying this is Jay Goody, man. <laughs> All good Jay, Jay Goody. Goody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there we get. There we get the flip kick. Lots of damage there. Almost gets the read on the uh, on the air dodge. Not gonna get it. Oh, oh we almost saw the same similar uh, position. Okay. Opportunity. Oh, okay, okay. Good drift away, actually, a little bit to avoid that paralyzer. Yeah, Jay Cody's doing a really good job at pressuring at ledge specifically. It seems like every time Lodestar wants to make it back to the stage, Jay Goody's there with a Paralyzer, a Side B. There we see a Down Smash, not gonna connect though. That was brilliant uh, spot dodge there from Lodestar. That, that, like, he needed that. Yeah, absolutely. If he would not have gotten that, he would have been dead. Like, really, because <laughs> that Paralyzer does actually have a, a medium-sized range, actually, I wanna say. So it would have reached Lodestar in that case. If he, had, if he didn't do the uh, spot dodge. Ooh, oh, there, there we get the parry. And there we go. There we go. Jay Goody cleaning up those stocks from Aquinas. Aquinas, the if you're Aquinas right now and you see those numbers getting further apart, you got to start shaking a little bit. What are, what are they going to do to answer back in this situation? 
We see a yink. Uh, I almost said yink. Uh, young Link. Uh, it works. Versus. Oh, okay. I guess it does still work. Uh, yeah. Young Link versus uh, Zero Suit Samus. Both these characters yeah. can be extremely explosive. Uh, very heavily rely on their setups off of their projectiles, though. Um, kind of, kind of mirrored. Um, in terms of kill power, I would probably put that towards Jay Goody, but you have to connect with a lot of those projectiles in order to confirm into some of your killing options. Um, although that upy out of shield, as we saw in that first game, very strong from Jay Goody, very strong from Zero Suit Samus, and already a very strong start for Jay Goody, 53%. Oh, even though stuck in the air, good stuff there with the down B. But also keep in mind you're gonna see uh, Nera Shield come in a lot from uh, Combat Disc. Is that... Or he may not even want to do it at all, because Jay wow. Goody uh, already started out very strong with that. Yeah, Jay Goody is so dangerous at the ledge as we're seeing in these first couple games that he's in. Let's see, though. I mean, Aquinas. Aquinas might find something here. Uh, you see, Combat just trying to go in with these uh, Fall Hop Nairs. And, uh, I mean, because he's trying to get something. I think he's trying to get, like, Fall, like, S Fall Nair into, like, Smash, maybe? Ooh, Up B. Yeah, up he's such a strong move on the ground. Comes out very fast, and then even in the air, it'll kill as well. Combat is making sure to get that stock. That was spicy. Ooh, but that roll read, Jay Goody takes that stock. Yeah, uh, now they're they are down a stock, but however though, Combat does start up very strong. It's caught in the grab though. Ooh, I like that forward throw mix up. Uh oh, fourth throw. One gets hit by the paralyzer and up B. That's it. Wow, right off the corner too. Uh, very light. Young Link is obviously, but that uh, that up special from Zero Suit Sam is so strong. Such a good punish option if you don't fall out of it. And I don't think we've seen a single person fall out of it yet. I was right. If they do send in Dr. Mario. This would be very good for Aquinas, because I was saying earlier, Dr. Mario's kill game uh, is super good on the ground. It's also good uh, edge guarding tool, too, if you want to like keep your opponent off stage, because still uh, keeps you in stun. It actually kind of knocks you back a little bit. Um, oh, and Cape is actually going to come into handy, too. Speaking of edge guards, though, uh... potentially a rough situation to be in if you're Dr. Mario with a little bit of a lacking recovery. Um, can be, can be exploitable, but we are seeing Jay Goody kind of stick to the stage in this situation. Staying back, using that Paralyzer, using that Zare on the ledge quite often. Um, getting a lot of uses out of that, but there we see the grab. Paralyzer, there's some damage right there. I'm throwing gonna... Oh, beautiful, beautiful catch there. I'm pretty sure... Uh, the reason why Jay Goody didn't go for up air... He went for like wait back back here. It's because he knew exactly when Timmy was going to recover. Uh, and there we like... see a zero percent stop coming out from Jay Goody, looking super dominant to win this for his team. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see the unfortunate SD from Aquinas right now. Let's see if they can take a stock. Let's see if they can try and take this game, make something happen. You were telling, and you were saying earlier, Bev, that Dr. Mario doesn't have the best recovery in the game. Oh. Yeah, that comes to plague them, so unfortunately, I wish I wouldn't have said that. <laughs> Lots of that grabs coming out from Jay Goody. He just wants to finish this off going very aggressively. I think he wants to finish it in style, but... I mean, let's <laughs> say Timmy's got, Timmy's got something started here. Off stage, though. Like I said, maybe using the pill in neutral is going to help a little bit. Ooh, oh, the pill would help that's... you on the multi-hit, though. That was great. And he... Oh, okay. I would have, I would, I would have left the room if he had like read that. <laughs> oh, off stage. He's still gonna live it if he doesn't get edge guarded. Oh, he tried to drift back there so he'd avoid getting hit. 
Very smart recovery from Timmy, but just right back into a grab. Down B sends him the wrong way, though. A very unfortunate. Yeah, I think that was supposed to send him to the left. Actor is going to look for the flip kick. Oh, oh. That is it. Yeah, Jay Goody ending it in style, like you were saying, with the flip kick jump and uh, taking it for CUAA.